depending on the problem, we are collecting georeference data that can be static or dynamic, for example, transportation data, or it can be about the location, what people are saying about the Airbnb location. And then we apply to figure out why do people behave, like walk or not walk, use cars or cyclists in certain areas, or we then connect it to health data. Is there actually a um, prevalence in another disease? Are people uh, getting healthier in places where you can walk more? Or is that just a myth? We can also apply it to the other side where we have uh, property data and figure out how do people actually make their decisions. Hedon hedonic pricing models are very common, but we have to use all the information available about the property, about the city, about the time, about the location. Is it a Christmas sale? Is it a during the year rental. So we have all of these information and we therefore help to understand this very complex system of the city, which is an interaction of an infinite amount of systems. We're surrounded by a sea of data, so we don't have to anymore go out and collect individual points of information. We go out and cast a net. So depending on what we want to do, we go and scrape off home pages or like listen to social media feeds to inf get the information. This is a new way of actually collecting it, which is much more noisier, much more difficult to actually then find the results we want, but it's much more accurate in a way of where things are happening, especially in the urban environment where we have a multitude of information. We have building information, transportation information. We have knowledge about where people are living, where they are working, how they get there, transportation. And we have to figure out how this system, which is highly complex, is working. That is a multidimensional system where we have to also find a new method. So as soon as we have noisy, highly dimensional data sets, we have to invert it. We can't anymore go straight forward and have a model where we say, x equals y, so therefore we go in this way. We have to go the other way and find out the data and make the machines learn how to interpret it.